The good news continues for your Rockford A Sogs as they announce another re-signing for the upcoming season, the 2021-22 campaign in goaltender Kale Morris. And Kale, welcome back to the Ice Sogs for another year. I know a lot of people are excited, especially with what you were able to accomplish last season with the Ice Sogs in your first professional campaign. But kind of walk us through the last couple of weeks for you and, and talking with General Manager Mark Bernard, Head Coach Derek King, and, and what made you want to come back and, and keep going with the Ice Sogs organization. Yeah, first of all, I'm obviously super excited to be back and uh, just be part of this organization overall because it's definitely a world-class organization. So I'm really excited for that and looking forward to a full, hopefully normal season next year. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I was happy to kind of get this re-signed early on in the summer and not have to worry about it and kind of just uh, get back to work. So I'm really, really looking forward to it. Now, I know you didn't get a whole lot of action last season, being in a truncated season, what it were, and just sharing the net, having a lot of opportunities to work one-on-one -on -one with the development staff. But in your time in the Ice Hawks, Greece through seven games, a 2-3-0 record, a .923 save percentage, which if uh, you take away the league minimums for minutes played, that's the third best in the American Hockey League. So you already kind of set the bar pretty high for yourself. What were some of the breakdowns with the coaching staff to uh, look to continue to improve in your training here this summer? Yeah, I think just uh, like you said, continue to improve and take another step forward this summer. Um, it was awesome to kind of get my feet wet with the shortened season and just kind of get accustomed to the pro life there and uh, kind of start building those relationships with the coaching staff and developmental guys. So um, I thought I took a pretty good step in my career. I'm looking to uh, take another big step this summer and then hit the ground running at the start of next season. Now, towards the end of this season, you were a little bit banged up. Coach King mentioned that you and a couple others, just no real reason to rush you back just with the way the season had worked out for the Ice Hawks. How are you feeling? I know uh, you probably wanted to keep playing or get dressed and, and maybe sneak in another game or two, and I'd imagine it impacts your summer training as well. So how, how are you feeling going into the summer? Yeah, no, I feel great. I mean, obviously, that was a decision um, me and the coaching staff had to kind of make just to take it easy there. There was no reason to push anything with no playoffs or anything like that and didn't want to set myself back for um, missing time in the summer of training. So, um, I mean, I feel great. I know I took a couple weeks off. I'm sure a bunch of other guys did just to kind of reset and take take care of the body a little bit. But, uh, yeah, training regimen will probably kick off here soon, and uh, I'm looking forward to a good summer training. Now you mentioned earlier you got your feet wet with the Ice Hogs last season, your rookie campaign and seven games played and plenty of practice time and development time with the coaching staff. How does that impact your preparation now this past uh, or this upcoming summer? Last time we caught up when you just signed with the Ice Hogs, you were coming out of college to pros. Now you get a sense of what things are like. So what does that do for you moving forward? Yeah, I definitely got a feel of uh, the speed of the game and just kind of the pro lifestyle and the pro approach of coming to the rink every day to get better. Um, I tried to just be a sponge this, this year and just be around the guys and try and take in as much as I could from the older guys to Tompkins and uh, all these guys that uh, have kind of been there before. I just tried to learn as much as I could from them and hopefully uh, be able to come back next season and be um, kind of a return and kind of know what's going on opposed to a first year guy who's kind of tiptoeing around. So um, just uh, working with Pete was awesome this year. I mean, we, we worked on a lot of stuff. So um, as far as my summer approach, I, I think it's the same as every guy, you know, get stronger, faster. Um, but it's definitely good going into the summer, kind of knowing what the pro game's like for next season. So. Now, you, you have a lot of connections around the country, too. You're from Colorado, but have family and, and friends in Pittsburgh and the, in the Pennsylvania area, as well as going down to Florida, too. So, I mean, how does that impact your training, knowing that you're going to be a little spread out a little bit, maybe skating with different guys on different weeks? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, I had a great routine in Colorado the last couple of years. Um, this summer will be a little bit different. I'll be in uh, Pittsburgh a little bit, in Florida, and then back in Colorado. So... But, uh, I mean, there's plenty of places to train and skate, so I'm not uh, too worried about kind of getting the quality time on ice with good guys. So I'm um, just kind of enjoying spending time with different people that I haven't gotten to see in a while. So uh, just kind of balancing the whole pro hockey life and then also just being a human here. So it's been fun. And that was going to be my last question for you, too, is how are you enjoying it? It seems like it's the great American reunion this summer. Chances to see family and friends that you haven't been able to see in, in quite a long time with what last summer looked like and, of course, being in the bubble of the season. So what does the downtime look like for Kale Morris? Any trips, any travel plans, or just simply being a vegetable on the couch? Uh, what's Kale Morris going to be doing here in the next few weeks? <laughs> um, I'm actually headed to Cabo here in the next couple of days with a couple of buddies for – um, the weekend and then uh, have a big family reunion at a lake house in Utah at the end of uh, June. I'm really looking forward to then 
a wedding from an old player. Looking forward to that, seeing some old guys. So it's just, it's good to kind of get back into a, what we can say is a normal life yeah. post COVID. Um, I don't know if it ever will be fully back to normal, but I'm definitely excited to see those people that I haven't been able to for a while. And obviously being around family is always, always a good time. So I'm just looking forward to kind of seeing all my loved ones and close ones. So. Well, Kale, congratulations on re-signing with the Rockford Ice Songs. I know everyone's back or happy and excited to see you back in the state line at BMO Harris Bank Center. And I know we'll be catching up again soon. Yeah. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate it.